<laughs> Video game intros do not hit like that anymore. Welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite OG games, Star Wars Republic Commando. Oh, and that this game is easily is a game that deserves day. a remaster. Your designation will be so first of all, what the hell is a commando? A commando is a type of clone that is a little bit smarter than its peers and focuses on small squad-based tactics and to do objectives in a concealed manner. These clones have superior genetics, eh, what the hell? Alright, well, it's not Jango Fett's genetics, it's, uh, it's a guy from the Goonies genetics. There you go. So, you have three people of your squad, and this starts with 4-0, which is your by-the-books kind of guy. 07, which is your assassin dude, don't interact with him. Then you have 62, which is your spirit and like kind of the funny of the group. Now each of them are supposed to be specialized in their own thing, but that never takes effect. Every one of them can do everything the other can. But you play as 38, which is the leader of the group. And being the leader, you have to coordinate your team and make sure you're giving out orders so that way you can complete objectives. It's not long before you are on your first ship and heading to your first mission and you gain a debrief from your clone commander. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? Well, the first level takes place on a Geonosian planet. There's different environments, such as Kashyyyk, a ship, and, well, Geonosian itself. Each planet has about six levels, five to six levels, which for a game in 2005, that's a lot of playtime. And this game throws you in. Like, quite literally, one of your buddies just gets grabbed immediately. Now, while you do not start off with your squad, you slowly go to regroup with them, and it teaches you certain aspects of the game, such as healing with back to tanks, and that you have a small shield. One thing I would like to note is the set pieces for this game. The set pieces for this game look really good, and... Honestly, it looks a lot like the old Star Wars movies. Now, it isn't long until we're introduced to Scorch, or known as 6 2. This is also where you learn about one of the biggest parts of this game, which is telling your troops to do certain things. These are actions you can't do yourself, but you should probably leave the aiming to you and have Scorch do it. These can range from placing charges, taking certain positions, or even targeting and focusing down certain enemies. Then you're introduced to Fixer, which is supposed to be your technical guy. But again, everybody can do everything because they're apparently MVPs at everything. Then you're introduced to 07, your headhunter of the group. And if you look at the bottom left, you'll see that you have the status of your team. This can be certain statuses like what their actions are doing and what their health is, and what direction they are compared to your position. Now, as you can see, this first planet's all of just chaos. Explosions everywhere, droids, Geonosians. But then the second planet takes a 180 and decides to turn into a horror game. You and your team must figure out what's happening with this derelict ship and why we're not getting any comms from it. It's probably a big joke at this point that every video I have use of environmental storytelling, but this is the level that they mainly used it in. Seen lots of cloned dead bodies before they even reveal the threat. And I will say, the ship reminds me a lot of the original Alien movie. Hmm. Ooh, one thing I forgot to point out, one of my favorite parts is the night vision in this game. The night vision is awesome. Feels really spec ops, and I like how it isolates the number on your weapon. It's not long before you find out that the thing that took over the ship were Trandoshans. I hate these fucking things. These things have way too much health. That thing just absorbed an entire clip. And they have knives that destroy your health and armor. Along with your will to live, apparently. Hey, get, get the fuck, shoot. One neat little detail is that if you kill an enemy up close or knife him, your visor will get covered in the blood or oil. And so your visor does this automatic clean. God damn, I hate these things. And here you get to see that they are using actual firearms, like a weapon that fires in solid projectile. And in this case, it's a shotgun. This thing is the salvation of everything in this level. This is like one of the few weapons that can actually take out the Trandoshans in a couple shots. Oh yeah, and your main character, uh, 3-8, is just kind of a 
He's just kind of a dick. He's very superior to his peers. This deluxe model is the only thing standing between you and a bloody death. So you'd best be showing some respect, trooper. Yes, sir. What are your orders, sir? Hold the line. Kill any lizards you see. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Will do, sir. Oh yeah, there's a nice little Easter egg if you make your way through the vents of the ship too. An elegant weapon for a more civilized time, huh? Well, guess what? Times have changed. We'll be then last but not least, you have Kashyyyk, which Kashyyyk is a beautiful, like, level or planet, just because the diverse combat really allows you to be creative as a leader. This game offers you a huge arsenal of weapons, grenades, and, well, even, like, mini guns, and it makes the game's combat feel so much more diverse. Especially Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk has a lot of ammo for a lot of weapons. What I'm about to talk about was a bit spoiler, but trust me, it's worth it. Okay, anybody who didn't want their spoiler for a game that was made in 2005? Right, here we go. There's this segment where you have to leave 07 behind, and you move on, and this is like the end of the game. You move on and get away from 07 with your squad fighting whether we should go for him or we should follow the objective of regrouping with the rest of the fleet. And then the credits roll. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna play some fucking metal music. Alright, what what is that? Oh yeah, you had to leave 07 behind. Yeah, he'll die probably in vain, but listen to this fucking guitar riff. Now, there's a lot more I want to talk Oh god, is, is the music game like- Oh, well, shit. I think it's time for a fucking compilation.